we need to be we need to be uh, very uh, responsible of uh, this uh, athletes career and just during their uh, sporting uh, life and also after sporting life this is uh, this is the uh, we are we, uh, we need to uh, respect those human beings and and those athletes and their lives so now a uh, short presentation of Finnish dual career system or or mostly of our system in, in we call it the sports academy system in, in Finland and uh, uh, challenges and also good practices in, in our country. It's our choice in Finland. Has been many, many, many years. Uh, I was uh, the first generation during uh, 1970s in Finland who start in sports high school. I, I went to sports high school uh, to train and to study uh, as a cross-country skier. <laughs> very, good, uh, very good results in, in studies, but uh, not so good results in sport. <laughs> After my sports high school, I, I, finished, uh, I finished my uh, skier's career and start my travel and travel's career. Good basic, uh, basic training, you know, uh, 6,000 kilometers per year. Okay, uh, this is our, our, in our country, this is a very important question, and we try to uh, do it better year by year. And uh, we, uh, I think we have managed to offer those younger and older athletes quite good solutions uh, in, in, in this dual career field. Here's uh, Tracy knows this lady, triple jumper, training there in uh, San Diego also. He has said that uh, studying helps one to succeed in sports too. And uh, uh, Christina Mäkelä, a finalist in Rio Olympics last uh, summer, uh, he's studying there in Helsinki University. Same time he's, he's doing his sports career. 14, uh, 40 meters, 20 centimeters. He's, uh, he's a personal best in Rio qualification. But this is, this is uh, uh, I, I think, very shortly said, but uh, everything important in, in, in is, it's here. Healthy athletes who feel good mentally and physically has to change has a chance to succeed. Yes, that's right. Uh, our history is uh, something like that. Uh, we concentrate uh, special attention since late uh, 1990s in, in, in Finland. We started in uh, 1970s, but we, we uh, concentrate this question late uh, 1990s, early, early 2000s. Also, also internationally, and we have uh, had a lot of cooperation also by, with uh, uh, International Olympic Committee and also European Union in these 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 issues. Uh, Olympic Committee, our Olympic Committee, Finnish Olympic Committee is responsible of uh, national coordination and development, and this is uh, uh, we have a clear address, home address of this dual career. Uh, things and there is uh, Simo Tarvonen is working in our national Olympic committee and he is the leader of this program there. And uh, also we have uh, we have uh, persons there uh, who are uh, able to counseling uh, uh, make a counseling services uh, for studies and they are working there in Olympic committee. Uh, and then we, we have a very good cooperation with Adecco. Uh, concerning, concerning those uh, after-career uh, uh, situations, uh, and now it, it has been all, all, uh, uh, already t uh, 12 years, this cooperation. And then we started this uh, official sports academy network system uh, 2001, and we uh, take this name 
to use sports academy. And I try, I try to explain now to you what is, what is this. If you look at this Venice map, you can see those 20 different sports academ academies around uh, the Finland. And uh, you can see those uh, uh, red circles, some places, and those places are university cities, bigger, biggest university cities. And uh, uh, there is also uh, quite many uh, sports academies who are linked very deeply to, to uh, high performance training centers. As we have also in, in my place in Kuartane and uh, our sports academy system there in, 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 in this area. And there is uh, also in other uh, one place is there in Vuokatti and, and then Mikko is there sitting sitting the last chair. He, he's leading this uh, sports academy and, and training sector in Rovaniemi and there is also you know Lapland. <laughs> very very good Finto Sports Center. Okay, but uh, this is this is the uh, structure, and each academy is multi-sports and multi-school network. There, uh, there is uh, uh, in, in many places you can uh, show the uh, some physical point of the sports academy. It is the network of the facilities. It's net network of the schools and training training places. They are uh, mostly they are they are not like a high performance training centers, but they are they are networks in the town, in, in one city or, or the region of the city. And there is a lot of lot of uh, different schools and things. I, I I will show you one example. And uh, the core uh, thing in those uh, sports academies is uh, uh, has been many many years, and it still is uh, is the is. Uh, uh, upper secondary uh, elite sports schools. We call uh, here in, 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 you can say it other way, it's sports high school for elite talented athletes, sports high school. And those, uh, those athletes are between 16 and 19. And the, I think it's a, it is the strongest part of our system. And uh, if you are thinking about how we fund this system, uh, uh, Ministry of Education and Culture and uh, National Olympic Committee is uh, funding this by uh, national level, but, but also every uh, single uh, sports academy has also those area level and city level uh, uh, sponsors or, or, or company, uh, some companies and, and and partners like a, like a city city uh, a council or something like that, and they they have a local and national funding system. Basic tasks: three things. Uh, I, uh, we try to handle those three things in every sports academies. First, uh, we try to help. Athlete, elite athlete, to combine training and education, or work. work. Also, not, not not only the education, but also the the, uh, the daily work. If 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 there uh, there is such athletes who are working, maybe some uh, some hours per day or week. But this is uh, this is uh, inside the system. Our sports academy people are helping athletes to connect those things. Uh, okay. Other one is. To create better possibilities to daily training, good facilities, good coaches, and and time. This is also important to, to uh, uh, organize the time for training uh, uh, during the the studying day. You know, the not not only at the evening time, but just between the day also with with the, with those schools and universities and so on. And then uh, third part of these basic tasks. In every point of those, uh, in, in Finnish map, those sports academies, we try to organize also those support services, uh, uh, like uh, medical services, like uh, uh, physiotherapy, massage, physio uh, psychological uh, coaching, and, and also like uh, life coaching services. 
as, as Ingrid mentioned before. This is, this is the, the simple nutshell of this, this uh, our, our uh, concept, how it works, how those sports academies works. And uh, okay, this is one example. Okay, uh, this is our metropolitan area in uh, in which there is uh, three cities: Helsinki, Espoo, and Vanta. There is uh, one million people around this uh, this place, and there we call it Urhea. Urhea is the name of, of metropolitan sports academy, and. Uh, and here you can see the schools and universities. How many, how many schools are, they have, a, uh, they have a partnership and agreement with those schools. And all, all those athletes, there is a, uh, 1,700 athletes are studying and, and training in Helsinki, that all, all the, or uh, this uh, Metropolitan RS Sports Academy. And here is, the, here is these 20, 26, 26 different sports who are using this Metropolitan Area Sports Academy. And uh, you, here you can see these support services which, which they are using. Uh, and we have organized there in Helsinki. This is biggest. This is biggest in Finland, this sports academy. But you can, you can get the touch a little bit how it works in other cities or in, or in other places also. A little bit uh, at least pathway in Finland. First, if you, if you look at the local local framework here, uh, we have uh, some uh, some uh, uh, actions or already age 13 and 15, and we have organized those daily training sessions in in schools also, and other training sessions evening time here with the clubs. Okay, this is secondary school level. Then we have this, uh, come on, no, no, uh, this uh, upper secondary school, I call it uh, sports high school uh, system. And uh, in every day, in every day there is two or three hours training session Co uh, with, with the coach uh, inside the, the curriculum, inside the curriculum, every day, two or three hours, and then other training after school. But this is, this is I think, is, this is the strongest part of our, our system. We have those sports high school in every, every almost every, every place. And then uh, adult and elite at least face in, in this at, uh, athlete's pathway and, and, and I think this is the most difficult part. When, when those athletes uh, go to, to university or, or they try to, try to start the, the studies at, the, at university or, or this level, it's, it's, it's most, most difficult. And then also we have this uh, career transition uh, phase with ADEC and National Olympic Committee and and also, also uh, these all with uh, all in in all sports academy. In that network, we have uh, people who are who try to help those athletes after career. And then, uh, some challenges in in our our country. Transition during the path, especially after high uh, sports high school phase, as I, as I mentioned, age nineteen, age twenty. It's very critical. In sports high school, you have everything organized. Living, uh, meals, training, recovery, support services. Same place, you're living there and everything's going, going on. But after that, this is very critical. Okay, and also, also the, the career transition from sports to civil life. You know, this, this, is, uh, this is very difficult also to, to most, of, most of those athletes. And uh, also this university level, it's, it's difficult. How, how you manage to deal your, your time? How you can use enough time for training? How you can use enough time for, for studying? Or can you, can you get a longer time to study or something like this? And then also this uh, financing. 
four challenges. Okay, I, I think quite many is thinking about these, these things. Uh, you know the attitude. It's, uh, it's very difficult to put 100% for, for sports life because it's, it's not sure. It's very, how you, how you can say it, it's, it uh, you, you can never say that you will come to champion. You can never say that you are coming the professional athlete. And so, so how much you can you invest to your sports life? But everybody of you knows that if you don't put the 100%, you never come. This is very, uh, uh, very uh, difficult situation to think about also those. Or there is those, uh, if, uh, if we think about uh, uh, younger athletes, parents don't let them go to this uh, international, international athletes pathway because they, they try to save those kids. Okay, in our country is also a little bit uh, confused attitude if you are a, a, a athlete, you say that you are athlete. You uh, other other one is question what 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 you are doing in real life. <laughs> okay, the atmosphere. Okay. Come come. Good practices. Uh, we have this kind of athletes. This is a professional ice hockey player, Jani Rita, in our uh, our national team. And, and, and also those, those medals in, in championships. He's, he's studying in university. It's not u uh, very usual in, in, in uh, ice hockey players, but he, he has uh, managed to connect those things. And uh, he, he's preparing full-time st uh, student uh, after, his, after his ice hockey career. But uh, very good player and playing in KHL, a Jokerit team in, in Helsinki. And, uh, and he's, pre he's preparing his uh, whole life uh, so that now, now it's more, more training and playing, but uh, just after career he's ready for study. One point here. Our, our experience is that it's all, 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 uh, always it's tailor-made work with those athletes. That's we, what we need to concentrate. And also Areca, it's, in, it's important in this work. Statement, two points. Simo's point, maybe my point also. Finland is a rather small country, and the number of athletes is limited. Okay, so we should know all those athletes personally and give them full support, individual support in dual career issues. That's our that's our. Uh, Profile in Finland. Last two pictures: Tuli Pete ja Siren, Olympic silver medalist, Finch uh, Oping, you know, uh, Lonto, uh, London Olympics, and he's studying uh, uh, same time. He's studying architecture in University Helsinki University, and he's the mother of a little girl also. But uh, I think he's a good example of this uh, success in both ways in Olympic, Olympic success, silver medalist, and also the, now he's almost already architect in, in university. Okay, thank you. Two minutes more. Thank you very much, Tapio. Some questions? Uh, rather a comment than a question. Okay. Thanks, Tapsa. It was a good presentation. I have seen the same presenta presentation given by Simo once, and you were a good substitute. <laughs> I was better. Okay. Uh, one, one comment about um, this uh, sports academy system in Finland. I agree that the uh, high school level is probably the best managed at the moment. But lately, there has been very promising improvements in the secondary level 
ages 13 to 15 uh, system where we have developed both the daily training facilities and opportunities for these young kids but also this uh, camp-based junior academy system which we are also doing in uh, Olympic training center Rovaniemi in Lapland and uh, that has I think improved our um, holistic training system quite a lot because it's uh, taking the point of view of sports and combining education into sports rather than the other way around. Haluaisi kysyä vielä? No, ei, ei vastausta. Hello, hello. Uh, thank you for the presentation. Um, I wanted to ask one question, which is like related on the kind of high school level um, athletes. And is uh, I live in Finland myself. I'm not Finnish, so I have been actually related to quite many people that is working in uh, coaching, training, and sports science with really young people. And one of the one of the questions that they were, well, one of the kind of really common comments that they were making, for example, in, in football. I know a few football coaches uh, that have been training at a good level in, in Finland. They were telling me that they had these really young guys that they were 16, 15, 17 years old. They were excellent in football. They were really having high potential, uh, like national team potential, you know, like professional players. But they were combining a lot of different sports at this age of 16, 17 years old. So. And actually, in these cases, they were finding it as a problem because uh, for the coach, for the football coach, of course, it was kind of uh, uh, the, common, the common kind of feedback was that they should actually focus in one sport, one discipline, in order to be able to, you know, to achieve like the maximum they, can, they could achieve potentially. And is this kind of a common thing in many different sports that they are, since there is a very big and Im important culture in Finland of like doing a sport in your leisure time. There's many people who is practicing a lot of sports. So people playing floorball, football, tennis, and badminton with their friends. And it's kind of, sometimes this is not actually helping them to achieve very good level in one certain sport where they really have potential. Maybe we don't open now this early specialization <laughs> discussion here, uh, but uh, you're, you're right in some way that in, in some schools and some sports in Finland uh, we start uh, very specialized training, too, too much specialized training uh, early years and uh, it's, it's not, not good in, 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 in m many sports. And, and we know those international studies that, that uh, you need to have uh, some some sports for early age junior age to get the international level and but but this is this is uh, I know there there is a lot of opinions and don't don't start this. 